We should let you know that the K2000 has uh, on the order of 96 oscillators inside of it. What's up? You got your boy Direct, a.k.a. Native Shades, reminding you to like and subscribe. Because today we're going to be talking about the Kurtzwell K2000. What had happened was... So it's the crazy 80s. Cindy Lauper just told us girls just want to have fun. Hall and Oates claim that they can't go for that. Oh no. <laughs> Lionel Richie told us how it felt to be dancing on a ceiling. And Bruce Springsteen said you can't light a fire. You can't light a fire without a spark. But this gun's for hire. Even though we're just dancing in the dark. <laughs> The 80s was here, and the music industry was at its best. So many stars, from Michael Jackson to Phil Collins to Madonna, everybody was doing their thing. You had great shows like MTV and Video Music Box with Ralph McDaniel just getting their feet wet. You had cable TV. In reality, you know, not a lot of people had cable in the 80s. I remember Ralph McDaniels, he said he used to work for the cable company. He was like, in the 80s, the, some people didn't know what cable was. He would go and say, oh yeah, I work for the, the cable company. They'll be like, cable, what's that? Remember like the cable black box? <laughs> it was always some mysterious person trying to get you to use it. It was always like a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. Some mysterious person you'd meet in an alleyway that'd come to you in like the weirdest moments and be like, hey, hey, you want free cable? <laughs> I got the hookup. I can get you a black box. You won't have to pay any monthly fees. It's totally free. And you'd be like, okay, uh, I think I'll try it. And they'll be like, yeah, just give me $60. So you give them $60 and later on that afternoon, they drive by your place and drop off the box. And you know, it's always a dusty, dirty box that looks like it's been kicked down a flight of stairs. But you know, you hook it up and voila, you get free cable. And everything is gravy, everything is sweet for about a week and a half. And then all of a sudden, when you're watching your favorite sports show, zap, <laughs> or the, everything goes black and you're back on channel two. And you're wondering, uh, what, what, what happened? Did something get disconnected or anything like that? And you call a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend and they're like, oh no, the cable company, yeah, they zap people that has the illegal boxes. Yeah, it happens. And you're thinking, damn, I just lost $60. <laughs> the 80s was where it was at. And a computer programmer, Ray Kurzweil, decided to step his game up. Now, he was known for creating the trend-setting product, which allowed computers to read anything that was scanned and to recite it out loud. So this was great for people that struggled with blindness because now they were able to read all kinds of books and actually have the words recited to them. So they were joining book clubs, magazine clubs, and all kinds of things. This was a tremendous advancement as far as computer technology. And in the early 80s, he ran into Stevie Wonder, who used a lot of his products and was like, hey man, I really appreciate these products and I think they're fantastic. But one day he had a conversation with Kurtzwell and said, hey, how about bringing this technology into the music space? Kurtzwell was like, what do you mean? He was like, well, how about creating an instrument where a musician could really take advantage of this kind of technology? Something where a person that was blind would be able to enjoy the instrument and also a person that could see. So Kurtzwell was like, okay, let's go for it. And they decided to start a company. And in 1984, the result was the Kurtzwell K250 keyboard. This machine was amazing. The sounds were sampled, compressed, and converted into digital data. This technique answered all problems. Finally, sample sounds sounded realistic. And the keyboard did well. But in 1990, Kurtzwell decided to sell his company 
to a Korean company, Young Chang. No, folks, they're not down with Young Jeezy, Young Thug, and Young M.A., okay? That's not who Young Chang is. He's not the newest member of Young Money. Get that out of your mind, okay? This is a Korean manufacturing company. <laughs> and in 1991, that company dropped the Kurtzwell K2000. You were getting 24 voices of dynamic allocation, 16 part timbrality, eight megabytes of waveform ROM expandable to 24 megabytes. It used the VAST technology, which stands for Variable Architecture Synthesis Technology. A user could use different signal paths, which contain different DSP functions, which could be used for shaping and creating sound. This keyboard was velocity sensitive, had aftertouch, up to 128 megabytes of sample RAM, two LFOs, a digital multi-mode programmable filter. This keyboard was the bee's knees. This keyboard answered every synthesis fanatic's prayers. You can literally have one channel with the specific type of synthesis style and combine it with another channel with a totally different type of style. This was amazing. And in 1993, the K2000 stepped up its game even more. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it added a sampler. What? A sampler? Now this joint could be used like an ASR-10. This was crazy. Musicians all over the world loved the K2000. Musicians were searching for something like this for years. They were searching for something like this forever. It, it's kind of like, you know, like when you call in sick for work, and you like search for a doctor's note. <laughs> you know, you really just didn't want to go to work that day, but you know to return you have to bring in a doctor's note. So you start taking a tour around your whole city looking for an open clinic so you can get a doctor's note. And then you finally find one. And you know, you're going to the doctor and you're like, yeah, you know, I, I don't feel well. So I took the day off of work today. And they're like, oh, you took the day off of work today, huh? Hmm, let me check your temperature. Well, yeah, you're absolutely fine. Are you sure you were sick? And you know, you gotta play it off and you're like, yeah, I was sick, I, I had a cough. And you know, the doctor really knows you're lying, but you know, they're gonna give you the note, but they're gonna make you suffer first. <laughs> so they tell you, yeah, you know what, do me a favor wait out in the waiting room for a little bit. I gotta handle some things. And then you're in the waiting room and it's like two hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> then you go back in the doctor's office and he's like, yeah, you know, we have a fund that a lot of people donate to. Yeah, it's called chairs for doctors. <laughs> you see, our medical providers don't provide us with actual cushy chairs. So we have our patients donate to that fund for us. Yeah, we appreciate if it's $40 or more. Are you interested? <laughs> and you know, you're kind of like, oh boy. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested. Here, here's $45. I hope you get your chairs. And the doc's like, yeah, thanks. Thanks, bro. Hey, let me write this note for you real quick. <laughs> so the workflow of the K2000 is like this. You have eight modes, program, setup, quick access, effects, MIDI, master, song, and disc. So let's say if you just want to set up a program and play something, you press the program button on the top left of the keyboard. You can rotate the dial to scroll through different programs. These programs have algorithms and the algorithm is just like the YouTube algorithm, basically rules. <laughs> They're giving you rules that you use to create your sound. So some algorithms will be like, okay, you can layer four oscillators together to create a sound. And other algorithms will be like, no, you can only layer two. So there are 31 algorithms in this machine. You can enroll different effects, modulations, controls into these algorithm slots and basically shape your sound. Now that's applying the basic functions of a program. Pretty simple, right? 
Well, some folks didn't think so. <laughs> you see, with the K2000 and its deep synthesis functionality, on the unit itself, it was a lot of menu diving. You would have to basically go into, let's say, an algorithm menu, then go into the parameter menu of that, then scroll through different pages and go through additional menus. Then after that, you got to click additional buttons, going through additional menus to do additional functionalities. This unit can get so deep that you'll just be lost in a world of synthesis. <laughs> now, for some people, that's a dream come true. But for others, it might be a little too complicated for them. They might want something just, uh, you know, a lot simpler. Now, don't get me wrong. You don't have to dig all the way deep into all the synthesis functions of this unit. But you know, sometimes if something is there, we want to dig in and investigate. But even with that, a lot of great musicians used and loved this keyboard. Folks like the great Luther Vandross, Pink Floyd, Depeche Mode, Nine Inch Nails, all these folks loved the K2000. The Kurtzwell K2000 even had a ping pong video game inside of it. You press the master key, then the utility soft button, then the empty space soft button, and finally the setup button. Then it says, welcome to the K2000 game. And then you just scroll your data wheel to meet the bouncing ball. This is insane. Now, when the K2000 came out, it was $3,000. Yes, folks, three racks. Three racks in 1991 was like a billion dollars. <laughs> it was definitely car money. Buying the Kurtzwell K2000 was one of those things where you would have to sit down with your significant other and have a talk. <laughs> the K2000 was a monster keyboard in the 90s. This thing had fun synthesis, LA synthesis, FM synthesis. Th this joint had it all. Shout out to BJ Ray for recommending that I do a video on this joint. This thing is amazing. So yeah, folks, that's the Kurtzwell K2000. What had happened was... <laughs> so this is your boy, Direct, AKA Native Shades, reminding you to go down low in the description and pick up that Sound Master sample pack where I'm giving you over a hundred curated, unique, awesome sounds for any sampler you're using. And you also get a bonus how to play the keyboard video. Can you believe it? So this is your boy Direct, AKA Native Shades, reminding you to like and subscribe. And I'm signing off.